Hello, welcome to Heroes of Might and Magic 3, Armageddon's Blade, Dragon's Blood, Blood of the Dragon Father. Find the file of Dragon Blood for Ordwald or lose the race. Also, losing the hero Mutare means instant destruction. Mutare and two of her best heroes will be transferred into the next scenario without level or limit... Oh. Without level... Oh, alright. So she can go as high as she can go. I think. Hard difficulty. I think we'll start off with a dragon, don't you? I have found Orwald. They're sitting around playing he's cards. He's close to the vial, but his conservative actions and slow thinking leaves the way open for me to surpass him. As much as I must worry about Orwald, I must consider the vial. Once I have passed him, there is the vial, and no doubt it will have guardians. Dragon guardians. I gotta say, Heroes of Might Magic 3 has the strangest names for people, doesn't it? I always thought I would be a powerful noble one day. Taking Rorik's lands was only the first step, but I thought it wouldn't be possible till I was old, like tw 26 or 27. You hear that, Diesta? The file changes all my calculations. Whoever transforms into the dragon will be able to muscle into the highest ranks of Nyan nobility. It's funny, because this game was actually picked up on that before I even did. I said, like, once you're over the age of 25, you're officially dead. Like, you're, you're old now. You got 18 to 24. Anything before 18, and you're basically kind of like a kid, and life just is what it is. But 18 is when you really start to sort of come into your own person. So 18 to 24, you've got six years to live as a young person, and then you're old. And this game was right. It says, until I was old, like 26 or 27. General Meyer was take will take command of the troops in my old staging area and new castles near the access to the deep caverns he should be able to make things tough on the lords to try to follow me but, uh, who are trying to follow me my, by raiding them killing their scouts laying false tra trails <laughs> and stomping any overly bold lords meanwhile I'll take a small force and set up a camp in the deep caverns near where my scouts saw some of Ordwald's troops small force should be able to slip in without being noticed by anyone. Even the music underground is like pleasant. And mystical. Alright, so we've got ourselves a dragon. So what does that mean? It means we try to get more dragons. And how do we do that? We do it with gold! So let's do that. That's not gunner, is it? Nope. Okay. So, in a way, Mutare and her two highest level heroes transfer over to the next level. I think at least I had one level 14 hero because it was bought from the enemy in the previous level and probably like a level 8 or something. So my secondary heroes, I might not actually do much with them. It's a pretty big level. At least she's got expert logistics. So I think I'm going to just let her pretty much kill everything because it's kind of fun. It's going to be a little bit stressful. I think I might buy other heroes at least just to have some units and to guard the towns. But the general scope is for her to do everything so she can get as high a level as possible. And therefore be like a bit of a powerhouse in the next level. Although I don't want to spoil it too much and be too strong. But it's a fine balance, isn't it, really? Okay, so let's swap this over. You can enjoy these units, which means that you might be powerful enough to start doing things yourself. And she's got a dragon, and that's all she needs. Alright, we're going to... There's probably nothing down here, but OCD permits me to explore and find out. So, we'll... Oh, there's a pack of iron golems. If only he could take that on without losing any units. I don't think he can. Or can he? Yeah, he might be able to, actually. Let's see if we can wing it. Because any... I mean, make him strong enough that he can actually... Do some bits and bobs and not be useless. He actually starts off with a spell. He must have a speciality, a meteor shower or something. 100 points of damage. That's pretty high. If we can get them all grouped up together. Harpies are kind of useless. Until they're the upgraded ones. Doom, 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 doom. gonna lose that trog but if he goes to that I don't know these guys move quite fast can't seem to sway them yeah might lose a few units here but screw it just attack we won't worry too much about it
could have probably done this better, but pretty throwaway units for the most part. Oh wow, the Harpies couldn't even kill that. Hey, basic learning. Totally worth it. Not really, though. Okay. Let's kill some nomads. Dragons to the rescue! Oh, what spells has she got? She hasn't got Town Portal or anything good like that. Dimension Door yet. Uh, go quick combat. Hope that doesn't use any spells. It says 70 out of 70, so the quick combat did it without using spells. You're... You may as well collect that. Trade post. Imp. Okay, we'll go over to that. It's got to be like a wood up here then, I reckon. War Diary. Today some of my scouts reported Oddworld's troops held a castle to the west. They are flying a blue banner. They say there are four passages leading to the castle. Wild monsters block each passage. Alrighty. Watch out for those wild monsters. I just replenished the trogs that I lost. Yeah, let's go. Quick combat. I think we can do that. That's great. I'm so glad someone told me about that one. Okay. So, marketplace or blacksmith, whatever. Whatever works your way towards it. That's the way to do it. <laughs> I love that. I mean, it's a, I, I do enjoy the combat sometimes, though. So, you know, a bit of back and forth. Kiting the enemy and all that kind of stuff, but... For this purpose, I think it's just... It makes so much sense to just do Q, quick combat. Counter-Strike? Well... I guess... Sure... Why not? That them dead dwarfs. The dwarfs! Really enticed by this one. Wow. It's a bit cheeky. Oh, he had the Meteor Shower. I could have cast that. Maybe I can still cast it next turn. Let's see. Yeah, the doors are resistant, but who knows? Uh, I can't quite swing them. Probably isn't even necessary. Yeah, it's not necessary. He's got enough units to do the job. I'm not doing this like flawlessly where I'm not losing any units. But as long as it's only a small group of units, it's okay. And he's getting experience. So that's fine. I guess she should just go off left. Unless she wants to clear up the scraps, but go off my my missus. Do what you need to do. Kaboom. Nice, nice, nice. 
Ah, we got the um, artillery, but we haven't got the actual artillery. She has a tent. But there's no artillery. Resource silo or beeline to gold? I think still beeline to gold. Hello, fast man. I'm doing alright so far today. I only just started. Doing okay. Aha. We can go quick combat on this. Because there's no way you're going to put up a fight. This is starting to come around. What a beautiful dungeon. Let's stick to the leftish side. Although that looks like it heads up towards a base. You would think so. Ah, it's over here. Oh, just shy. War Diary. I imagine Oddward's troops near here are picket or screening troops. As soon as I take them out, he'll know I'm in the deep caverns. Get in the file first is why I'm here, but I don't think Oddward is going to let me walk up and take it without a fight. So, find the, dr the dr file before he does. So, it is a bit of a race. I can't mess around too much, though. Is the file going to be one of those cases where it's like a puzzle deal? Or is it just going to be behind some strong monster? I'll have to find out. More gold is required. But I can't afford anything that's going to give me the gold. Unless we get lucky and get some resources. We don't want to go there. That might be a bit too much. Pack a silver pegasi. This guy doesn't look like he can progress very far now, to be honest. But we'll keep going with him. Because otherwise he's only going to have to turn back and not achieve much. Wow, okay. It's a little bit nasty. I'm just going to put defend. And I'll try to bunch them all up together. Hopefully. For a nice meteor shower. It's not quite the meteor shower I'm after, but it'll do. Wow. Yeah, better saving it for those units. Hello, tell him. Still quite a few losses, but at least he can move. We're gonna head down. No wood, though, unfortunately. Because if I could pick up some wood, I could actually build something. So I'm going to end up going for like a citadel or something. Because at least I can. Gives me something to do with that turn. <laughs> I'm going to lose those trogs if I do quick combat, but yeah, okay. Oh, hello. You think we're going to lose, do you? Let's try that again then. I don't think we're going to lose. I suppose I can do Earth Elemental. I don't think anything's getting past the Earth Elemental. It's nice to have disposable troops. Like these guys, it doesn't matter whether I lose them or not. They go to war. Don't have to care about their positioning or anything. Just take them to battle. I wonder if there was a Heroes of Might Magic game where you could actually keep the units. I don't think so. But imagine if there was. I don't think there was. Maybe Heroes of Might Magic 2 at best, but... If we did quick combat, I think we'd lose the dragons, to be honest. No. I'm, I'm a bit surprised. It saves me some mana, though. Uh, I've cleared a path back. 
much, right? Off you go. But if you kept summoning... Oh, there's so many ranged units. This guy's just going to lose everything. He will have to come back. You'll just have to come back, my friend. But if you kept summoning water, uh, water mentals in, in each battle... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get that now. And then you get to keep the water elementals that didn't die. That would be pretty sick, but pretty broke. Ah, there's a blue border guard. Let's just do this then. Oh, I can't reach. Probably end up losing everything he's got, but... There's a secret hidden 500 evil eyes in this level. <laughs> Killing them gives you a good item. 500 evil eyes. That sounds like a ch fun challenge. What do they talk about? You know? They're all grouped up together. They're all just chilling. What are they talking about? 500 of them. Let's see if there was a good hero that came available. Dace? He's got some nice units. Let's pick up Dace. Yeah, blister as well. I'm hoping he can reach. He can. Give him more units as well. It's okay. I think this is too much of a journey. There we go. Might be able to make it. See, that boosts him up a bit. Take them out. Oh! Didn't see that one coming. Don't mind if I do. I'll take them. I'll take it. Just keep heading sort of westish slash south. I don't even know why I have those trogs in my army still. Just slowing me down. Let's go, boys. With all of my defense, could I take on three of them whilst I've only got one? Look at that. Attack is 41 and defense is 37. I imagine I'd have to use a spell here. That's a cheap one. Ah, it needs to be one to three, though. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I guess. Or Armageddon. That deals with it quicker. Ease up an extra four mana. I'll see how the first attack goes. 102 versus 56. Cure doesn't work. Nothing from 1 to 2, 3 works. I think I've got to, yeah, restart it pretty much. Unless I do defend, then I won't die to the next dragon attack. See? Hey, two dragons. You can't afford to purchase a boat? I beg to differ. Let's go get ourselves a boat. We could go to the trading post, or we could just buy one. If I bought another hero, it might be cheaper to go to the trading post than it is to use the marketplaces that I currently have. I don't know, that's not too expensive. Let's just do that. I don't want to buy too many heroes. Oh, you're so cruel! All of these sort of almost, but not quite, movements. Cruelty. Hello, ketchup. What a good use of a turn.
Going for the trogs, are we? How many trogs can you handle? I should have stood next to them, actually, not attacked. That was a mistake. Now the trogs will suffer. Oh! Never mind. He can reach me. Oh, I don't know. It's a bit messy. But we're going to get ourselves that mine. Darth Ads just felt like saying this content has been great so far. Keep up the good work. Sure! Sure, mate. I'll try. I'll tickle your senses. With some great work. Hold the door. I don't know whether... Yeah. Go on in. It's not going to be pretty, whatever happens. got abandoned gold mine though, which is gold. So we lost a fair few units. Not going to say it's perfect. But I'm getting myself the resources to build up to the dragons. The capital would be nice, but we need a castle for that and lumber is still suffering. Pillar of eyes is fine. Lumber. Kill everything. Nice, nice. Hmm. Imp cash? I don't think it's. I think he will lose a couple of units. Actually, maybe he won't lose much at all. Looks like some super monster, doesn't it? Like, that's the main one with the free sort of, like, attached, but behind it. Big boy, didn't you go away? I thought you was going, wasn't he? Ask the Aster when I'm going to play Warcraft 3. Ah, no. Shouldn't have done that. But I suppose that went really well considering anyway. Ah. So Blue was set up shop here before I took him out very quickly. The rest of these are ranged units, so not much to do. Until I get much more powerful units that can not lose so much. Castle. That means... Capital next turn. If I get enough gold for it, that is. There you go, that helps. Oh, basic intelligence again? You're spoiling me. Basic learning, basic intelligence. Oh, so good. 
This is too good. Kappa. Kappa tool. Hang on a second. Which one is that? Is that the bottom right one? That is the bottom right one. Kappa. And tool. I can't remember if I got the red guard. I really don't think I have. So I'm not going to land. Is there any way to know which ones I've definitely ticked off the list? Dragons. Wow, talk about map hack. So that's a whirlpool. That's going to take me... Where does the whirlpool go? Ah, maybe it goes to a subterranean area. Like another one. Because there's no other place here that has a whirlpool. Yeah, you have to go through that way. Because this is all blocked off. There's nothing else... Yeah, unless there's a gateway or something. So that's how you get out. Oh, that's clever. It's it's an interesting level, isn't it? Yeah, that takes me out somewhere else, and then I need to go from that somewhere else to get to here. It's kind of cool. Although there is this portal right here, obviously, as well. Oh, you're... F what is this? I'm going to load the autosave on that and see if I can... What a joke! That's just wrong. That really is. Alright, well there's no rush, really. To clear out this whole area with these characters and lose units. They can just wait till they've got dragons or something. Prison. Alama. Resurrection. And Gowd! And basic estates. Speaking of which, anyone else got basic... Oh, she's she's got plus one crystal. Is that plus one crystal a day, then? That's pretty sick. She's level 12 warlock and one artifact. Oh, I killed her, didn't I? I killed her really easily. Alright, she'll do. Didn't even. I just noticed the crystal first. I didn't notice the level. It's pretty good. No way I get back to the boat anyway. Summon boat. Haha. <laughs> What can he cast? Town portal? No. Nope. There's only one boat though. So I'd need someone to go buy another boat, I think.
I feel like it's doing this to me deliberately now. Yeah, she can't cast it yet. Trying to get two dragon dragons at the same time, rather than just from one base. Today, my scouts reported that further on to the west, past the enemy castle, a border guard is an underground river. The river appears to be the only exit from these series of caverns. I'm already on my way. Ward water already passed like six to eight months ago. Yikes. Wait, how did I manage to buy a shipyard without even going there? That's a thing you can do? Oh. Okay. Hang. Yeah, I thought you were going to summon that boat. Let me try that again. What about this boat? There we go. Good girl. She got there eventually. Well, of course, you can buy dragons from this cave. Should be doing that each time. Well, of course! I mean, there is the portal of summoning, but if you've already bought the dragon, I don't think you're going to get it, if you know what I mean. Be available again. It could just as easily be one of these warrens that I can't get rid of now, because I've already taken over one. I need like a lot more. No, I got. I'm not doing too bad on gems. Could do some trading now. I've got a fair bit of gold to try to get those dragons. She's got a fair few uh, spells. She might be able to just do this. Okay. So Labyrinth is there. Dragon Cave still requires so day 5, day 6, day 7. It's possible from that base, but I don't think I can afford to trade everything. It might still have to be a week. Doing all right for pills fat, and the little budgies are doing cute as well. Good little budgies. Well, kind of. Bobby's still a psycho and pecks everything, but otherwise, yeah, good budgies.
As long as I don't lose the dragon, it's fine. Still not enough deeps, though. Hey! See, that'll do, piglets. That'll do. You should actually take, like, a fast-ish unit. Quite a lot of their speeds are very bad, though, aren't they, in this... Supposed to be Mage Guild level 2. That requires Mercury. So I might be able to get one Dragon Cave. It's not a great transfer rate though, is it? One to seven. Yeah. Why is it... Ah, oh, one to thirteen. I suppose it's... yeah, it's not too bad actually. I suggest I just don't buy anything with this base, pretty much. Apart from that. Just a faster unit. So she's got Fireball Landmine and all that, because she learnt those spells, didn't she? Yeah, Fireball Landmine. We did that. So she can go up and do that stuff. He can come back in and just chill. Daimer's the guy of... He's in charge of this, actually. You should, in a way, be doing this. No other special heroes. Okay, lovely. I don't want to lose a dragon. It's going to make me lose a dragon. Unless I do that, maybe. Even then. I might lose a dragon. No! The price was too high. It cost me a dragon. So we're going to go down here first. Oh, you are fucking... What's the chances that that's happened like every single opportunity it can? It doesn't seem like it's that likely. Yet, it's basically a 100% chance to happen. It's like with a red light on a street. Once you'll be forced to wait, you'll wait on each crossroad. Yeah. You get every single red light in existence. 
Dragon Cave, nope, but Dragon Cave here. 15, 15, 20, and gold. But I don't have anyone at the trading post, because I moved them off. So I think I might actually have to buy someone just to go to the trading post. What have you done? You madman. Can I even have... Can I even reach the trading post? Yay. Okay. Couldn't even buy that even if I wanted to for this week, so may as well just wait. I feel like we're going to transfer and then I'm going to go pick up another. Another lizard man. May as well pick up the scholar. I don't know if my main character's coming back for it. Ha! <laughs> Counter strike. Like anyone cares about that. combat here, but I reckon it probably would have tried to have lost one of the uh, little ones. Ah, oh. More dragons. Right, so we want to get you some dragons, but we need a labyrinth for that. We can get that. I can handle that. It's not too unrealistic to get some dragons. Cheeky. Yeah. That was lucky. We didn't get diplomacy, but at least we got the air magic. Hey, I was going to say, none of these have gone close to each other, apart from those ones. I don't know if Afrites are real things. I know, obviously, not real life, but real fantasy character before Heroes of Might Magic 3, but it's kind of a cool idea. So, like a genie, but an evil one. Because most genies are normally quite stand-up guys. Just look at Aladdin. So I don't lose a beholder. Join me. Or die. Well, 
I'm going to lose the beholder there. I like the way these, these little characters defending themselves. And their noises. The freaks were first introduced in Aladdin. Really though, so a freak was Jafar. Jafar became an Afrit. My scouts found a prison. Oh, I'm ahead of this. That's good news, though. The war diary normally is like giving you tips, but if you've already done the things that it's giving you tips about, that's good. Because it means that you're probably further ahead than you should be. Which means that I'm not falling behind. At least I assume so. Oh, everyone's got morale these days. What's up with that? Yeah, he's the marketplace bitch. <laughs> There's always got to be one, isn't there? Days can be like the windmill bitch on that side. Sephiroth, she's like one of my stronger ones. Alamar can be like the hero that looks after this. And Dwemer can be like the hero that looks after this. Or... This. Oh, my God. I don't know how this is statistically possible. Let's just go auto combat. I'm lazy. Okay, never mind. You lose it. Looks like I don't get to be lazy. <laughs> Feels bad. These are quite tough. Damn. Ah, oh, well. The dream. Dragon's not doing so hot, is he? I'm 
looks like I'll have to be more tactical when I take on these dwarfs. Let's restart it then. Oh, they always get morale, even though they're like a neutral pack that don't have any beneficial sort of morale boosts. More complicated fight than I was expecting. He's getting a lot of shots. First aid would have come in very handy, wouldn't it, if I had like a tent, doing some nice healing. Those dwarves were tough. Tough dwarves. That's right. Everyone gets a Scorpio. I may as well kit her up with the next, like, another day or two, get some black dragons, kit her up, and then she can come and travel over. 
and visit my friend. Shall we try an artifact guild? Hello, Fespi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, movement speed gloves. I might end up losing this. No, it actually let me win. I thought it was going to say, You have been destroyed! Nope. That's the best button ever, there it is. You get a manticore. You get a manticore. Everyone gets a manticore. Got to level up the spells as well in each base. So, yeah, we only really need the dragon cave, otherwise, the rest is fine. We've got the upgraded stuff. Just do that. That's cheap, cheap and cheerful. Try the portal of summoning, maybe. So, this one needed. We need someone to pick up the dragons as well. What's Alamar off to? I hope it's not a plague next turn. That would suck. I think you can just change the plague, though, by just reloading again and ending the turn. Oh, I'm going to need someone to pick up dragons from here, maybe. Well, wasn't there another base I can pick up dragons from? Oh, it's up here. Yeah, I don't think I'm that worried. We've got no sulfur, crystal, or gem. So many dragons there. <laughs> Alright, just trogs for you. Harpies for you. Harpies for days. I talked to the castle's barkeep. After tossing a few gold, apparently there are rumors of a new type of fae or fairy dragon. Don't think I've come across that yet. In the power of normal dragon, I was fascinated. I love my red and black dragons, and even the green and gold ones only respond to me. Too bad they live in the bright lands. I wonder if the affinity would work with these fairy dragons. Of course they will, love. All the dragons want a piece. 
With that sweet, sweet Mutare arse. Chain Lightning? No, we don't even have much mana here. So her mana regeneration is... horrible. Hopefully he doesn't actually have any tier 4 plus spells, because he's got some good spell power and mana. Hey! I'm enjoying that. Here is the smallest area, so that's where we'll go first. Hello, uh, hello, Elta. I think it's the easiest, isn't it, Elta? imagine they've probably already done it. It's fine there. There's that portal actually, so I could send s Oh, good. Seneroff. Is that her name? Sephinroff. I could have that level 14 from the previous level and she can be the other level 14 from this level. And then I get plus one crystal on the next level. Yes. It's all planned. All planned. I did... That. Yeah. Nothing special though, movement speed wise. Amazing what you can do with some dragons, isn't it? Especially when you've got a, an affinity for it. So this is where the portal's going to go, then. My catch-up crew. I'm doing an OCD thing in a moment, where I'm going to have my least used heroes at the bottom and my most used heroes at the top. So I'm getting ready to put them all in like the castle to shift them around <laughs> for appropriate positioning. I think I can wait another week before I bring the troops to her. In a sense, I should be upgrading everything from one base, though. So let's start doing that over the next week. Oh, you think you can take me? Well, if you can, I'm in big trouble because I'm going to lose the level. Or I'm going to have to load a previous save, and I can't remember when my last previous save was. So I might be absolutely wrecked here. This is why I should save more often on different spots. This doesn't look good. This does not look good. I don't know whether to keep my distance or let them come to me and heal the dragons over time. 
Do you know what I mean? Right, that might be my best hope. If I go over there, I'm going to get attacked by that. And that's going to do a lot of damage. Hey, Jiu-Jitsu. Thank you very much there for the sub. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to start the combat and I'm going to be scared. 13 mana is not enough to work with. If I could get some earth elementals, that would have been great. Slow would be the way to go here. And maybe just defend for the first turn. Maximum. Yeah, see, I only take like a small amount. So if I can heal that amount of damage, I'll be laughing. And I'll probably do damage to the harpies. Because they're going to be the most annoying. Four points of damage. Oh, okay. I was expecting more. Is there any way to make that apart from the first aid? Four points of damage. That's really bad. Four points. I may be just cast curse on units that I go to attack. I don't think there's much of a better option here, to be honest. I'm going to do... wait. So I can hit those harpies once I've cursed them. I cursed you. Oh, the artillery did a lot of damage. I don't even know if curse is worth it, but... It might be worth it on these. I don't think it's worth it on these. Which one of those did the most damage? That's got 3 to 5, that's got 6 to 8. Doesn't make much of a difference. Yeah, I just slaughter them. Tempting to attack up here, isn't it? But then I get full damage from those units. So maybe I just wait. I'm going to start hitting the range units, I think. Dragons are just going to defend. Or they can come up and hit you. Go on and just do that. If you're going to take damage, you're going to take you're going to take damage defending. So at least this way you're actually attacking. Let's see if I can do this without losing a dragon. It's pretty hard though. What with the whole 31 points of health. I feel like doing defend now. Or if I fly away. If I do defend, they kill themselves on me. And I still. Yeah, I think I'll go defend. Unless I attack here. But they do no melee penalty. Eh, just attack, I think. Oh wow, I didn't know I was going to do that much damage. I thought it was going to be like four or five of them kill. Twenty-one points of damage! That's what we're talking about. I'm going to come back. I can't... yeah. Ha! <laughs> yes! I thought I was going to lose... What, a dragon there? Maybe even two. If I lost two dragons, I'm really screwed. Save. That's a starting point. Save. Da da da... I just don't care about that stuff. Let's see what we get portal wise. There you go, there's a dragon. So you're telling me there's a chance. We need someone to go pick up another dragon then. If there's unless that's the where the portal one came from. Who knows? What happens if I quit combat here? Hey. Boom! Black dragons.
Lots of mummies. These are new as well. I've not fought these in Heroes of Might Magic 3 yet. Look at them. Their cast is... No, they're not. You'd think... Uh, they almost look like they'd be like liches or something. They fire from a distance. Bet they still suck, though. It's a lot of dragons. It's a lot of dragons. Certain resources seem scarce in this part of the deep caverns. I haven't been able to locate any gem or crystal mines. No silver dooms either, but at least the dungeon castles have resource silos. I hate having to deal with merchants. I'd kill them all, but then who would trade with me? That's a good philosophical question you're asking there. I think Fiona is one of the level 14 characters I from the last level. I wonder, like... No, it's not. Pyre. No, sorry. L'Oreal. L'Oreal. <laughs> I'm going to call her L'Oreal. I was going to say, what if L'Oreal, yeah, I've got her here, and she's going to carry through to the next level. But in this, you go to the tavern, and you can buy a level one version of her. Would you have two L'Oreals? I suppose you would. Or does the... Have they programmed it so that you can't get the same heroes from previous levels? I wonder if they have. Because you could have two gunners. Gunning around. At maximum speed. Yep, that makes it a little bit faster. I mean, these levels are still going to take me a long time to complete. I try to keep the levels fairly quick, but I still want to play them out. This is a dead end anyway. Ah, no, it's not. So we've got to go that way. Carry on exploring, and then we'll we bolster the forces. I mean, she's strong enough even with just a couple of dragons to take on most of the levels, so... I really do OCD it a bit, like, trying to get as many as possible in one big group, and then go. Of course I would like to attack these. I didn't even have advanced at artillery, and that artillery was doing quite a lot of damage. <laughs> the route is clear! Turns out someone killed them. Was it you? Why, yes, it was me. How did you know? That was a quick quest. Never did get level 3 with this one. Better send my main hero back. Dace. Take this slow stuff off her. Before she slows herself down too much.
I can't have them all disappear at the same time. Otherwise I would. So that will have to do. Dace is just going to have to be the one that gets in the way, I think, here. He's just kind of in the way. In terms of the order. With that thing, you wouldn't even have to upgrade everything. Oh, I didn't even know there's a base here. What if Dace came over to this base? See what happens if I can just do this without losing a dragon. Nope. Apparently we want to lose a dragon. Chain lightning? Sounds pretty good to me. What do you think? Or Armageddon. I'm two points off Armageddon. Dragon has lost this day. There's no justice in the world. I think I know. Just a thought. Now she's got enough mana for Armageddon. Ang? I thought it wasn't supposed to hurt my own troops. Oh no, that's if you got Armageddon's blade. <laughs> oh well, it still works. Right, we're going to start trading for some serious resources here. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this now. I want to be able to comfortably afford all the spells and mage stuff. There we go. Is that enough resources? Are you not entertained? I am taking my time this level, aren't I? I'm kind of enjoying everything, but I've got to remember I am in a bit of a race. So hurry the heck up. Ooh, level five. Ah, sacrifice, but she did get Town Portal, so that's nice. She can't afford any of the dragons at the moment. So no rush there, my friend.
See, this should be the base that has everything upgraded in it, really. Although, yeah, I thought I was going to have enough resources because I did have a lot of gold, but my other amount of resources I'm bringing in is terrible, so I've used up a lot of that gold on re actual gems and stuff. So I'm only going to be out of four dragons, really. Not all this other stuff I was hoping to sort of build up. But it's kind of pointless anyway. This level's not even that big. I'm just overthinking it as usual. You know, do you remember those annoying, like, puzzles as a kid that you used to get, where it would be like a square, and it wouldn't be like jigsaw pieces, but it would be like blocks, and there would be like, for 16 blocks, and you would have 14 or 15 of the blocks with one spare, so you have to move one at a time, and then move another, and then move another, and shift, and that. That's kind of what it feels like what I'm trying to do with the heroes. Even though it's totally unnecessary, I feel obliged to do it. It is killing me. Trying to make sure that they're all coming out in the right order. She's the most powerful, then her, then him. And then he can be the next powerful after that. And then he's the least powerful. So this guy needs to come out. And then this guy. Technically, yeah, I did it. 20, 14, 5, 4, 2, 1. <laughs> it is OCD to the nth degree. I can't help it. There's something wrong with me. I can't help it. But the weakest always need to go to the east hand side. The furthest away, basically. So, like, he's there. He's, he's going to be here. He's going to be here. He's going to be guarding here. Um, this one. And then she's going to be adventuring behind. Ugh. I wonder why. I wish I didn't have this problem. It is bath. It's freaking like as close to autism as you can get. I've got to be on the autism spectrum at some point. I don't doubt it for a second. That I'm up there on the autism spectrum. I hope... I really get Town Portal with this one, because then she could actually Town Portal to all the other bases. I still run out of resources though, despite trading so much. Please. Yes! Because that actually saves me a whole bunch of trouble. She can actually just come here and Town Portal now. Which would have made my life a million times easier. I mean, she can town portal to that base. So she doesn't even have to travel difficult. Oh no, she's not advanced on town portal. She will be though. So you almost need to start traveling already. Right, that's a level 5. You've done that. It's level 4 cap, and this will go up to level 5 next turn. Sacrifice, meh. Well, it's good to know I'm still loved, despite my OCD. 
deep shadow. Boom. Soak it in. Soak it in. And back to deep shadow. This is all totally unnecessary as well, because I'm only using the one hero. But it just bugs me. Like, once I've got them all in their right place, I feel better. I think I do this, like, somewhat in Warcraft 3 as well, where I'll actually hinder myself, just making sure things look and are more organized, even though it's not practically better, but it makes it better in my mind. More comfortable for me to manage. Wow. Look at that base. Did she ever go up there? Wow, she didn't even go up there. Shocking, my love. Shocking. No, that's not a good deal. Didn't want to be doing those trades, did you? Of course, Seth is blocking the way. Of course she is. I could have been collecting the windmills. I didn't actually have a windmill bitch. Fast mag cows, so that's why I suck at RTS games. I like creating nice looking armies that well balanced and bases look well. It's my downfall. You can probably find an RTS game that suits that style of gameplay though. Like more like Cossacks or Total War games. Where you try to get like a you know, your halberdiers, your archers, all of that. You try to get a bit of everything. And this, you see, I'm just trying to go straight for dragons. But then I thought I might be rich enough to get all of the units. But even then, dragons are still better because it's just... Well, if you can afford everything, then fair enough. But the dragons don't take up the movement speed. But if I get a bunch of slow units, they're going to take up my movement speed. A bunch of evil eyes and all of that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Mistakes were made. Now they're in the wrong order. This is like the easiest level ever, and I feel like I'm taking almost as much time in it. I haven't. I haven't been that bad, actually. And I'm going to fail fail the level, because I'm going to get to a point where... I need to have, like... If we have R2 and not save over R1... Because what if I, it turns in, like, two weeks' time and says, Oh, you were too late. I'll be screwed. I need to have a save that goes somewhat back. Otherwise, you don't have, like, a save in this where it's like, oh, go back two weeks or go back three weeks. That would be really handy, wouldn't it? If you screwed up your saves, you can't. You might have to just restart the level entirely. If you get yourself stuck. Alright. Let's do this.
Just enough to trade, almost exactly. For said dragons. That might not still be enough for this one. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> it's so silly. Alright, we did collect that, didn't we? I don't think there's any other things I've missed out on this hero. He's got expert wisdom, so he can use the town portal. But it only goes to this base. Alright, let's start going now. This is ridiculous. Like, I can't believe how much time I've been spending on this. I can and I can't. <gasps> oh, you had more dragons, did you? Whoops. more snacks. Let's view the earth. I think we're just going to start beelining to the end now. Because there's probably not that many other things to pick up on this level anyway. If you know what I mean. Like stat wise. Like plus one attack. Plus one defense. So I think we really just need to start to go straight to the end game. Which I actually don't know where it is. Where is the end game? Maybe the top left, but I don't know that for sure. I have to find a vial so it's an item. Yeah, I do, but it's someone's gonna like someone said something about 500 evil eyes. Maybe it's behind those. Get him, boys. Cheeky scamp. Pit timed that right, didn't he? Damn, he's quick. Alright, I'll just TP to this base then. I thought I would be able to catch up with you. Let's go, Ordwald. Show me what you're working with. I mean, does Armageddon hurt 
Armageddon would hurt those red drakes, wouldn't it? So I don't know if I want those red drakes in my group. Mm, he's quite tough. He's a big lad. Might be better just doing Armageddon over and over and defending in the top left. <laughs> that ballista. Armageddon is a little bit OP with Black Dragons, isn't it? So that artillery doesn't work very well with my armor getting. So it's a bit of a dead spell, but there you go. He's gonna retreat, isn't he? No, he didn't. Free dragons. For all of that. Oh, he couldn't retreat because he had Shackles of War. Sentinel Shield. That's the mega OP one. Tabajo. I'll take that Shackles. Thank you. Some pretty OP stuff here. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. Sha. Fee Gates. I guess we'll try to upgrade some dragons. We need to build a dragon cave first. I think killing Ordwald slowed them down a little bit. The computer turn was very quick that turn. Thank you, Logi, for this sub. Here comes another couple, coming out of the woodwork now. Dragons, they're so expensive, but rightly so, in the right end. Isn't there an upgrade in that area? I mean, I could, sorry, I could have town portaled instead of buying this. That was part of laziness on me there. And Heart, dumbass. Whatever, we'll just end the turns. I'm sure there's no punishment. Remember, it's not like I'm in a race to do something on this level. This is the OCD part taking over. Ah, das ist gut. See, I'm not even going to use these other heroes, am I? That was me thinking I was, but I'm probably not. What's this thing here? This spot. That doesn't do anything. That must be for something else, like a relic. Maybe later on in the game. Okay, let's let's move. Let's roll out Autobots. Just make sure you go in there and learn the spells. Okay. Actually, you can only town port to one base. Yeah, 
Everyone's happy? Ah, oh, you're not supposed to have gone inside the base. Now you're at the bottom. It's all gone wrong. Here's another really strong one. Battle! damage. I think Lutea's found her flair. You know, she's got just enough power and knowledge, especially with those mana fortresses, to have enough mana in between, you know, town portal into gates and stuff like to combat. Otherwise the rest is full on like, attack and defense, so she can just camp. <laughs> and cast Armageddon. What a true warrior. Walk across water. Alright, she's going to keep going back up. I feel like I should just give the other girl some units, actually. Yeah, because that's going to happen. My mistake. Still good. Still alive. Not dead yet. <laughs> Wouldn't this just be easier if I just did this? Rather than trying to work out this complicated battle scheme. Yes, it would be easier. Good fight. Okay. Watch out for the gremlins. See now that order if you lose a hero, the order goes all out of whack anyway. There you go. Have some dragons, courtesy of me. Twenty each. How's that sound? Good? Yeah, it sounds good. Alright, good. We definitely have done this. Yep. Twenty dragons apiece. Hype. 
You're thinking about the magical plane areas. Oh, yeah, the dragons. So what you're suggesting is that the dragons have the file. And the dragons look like they would be from the top right. Or would they? Like this mystical kind of land bit. Or there. Maybe if I go top right, then here, and then down here. Because that's like nothing special. If we're just cutting straight through. Top right. You send up both our heroes in different directions, actually. Strong enough to survive, I should think. Oh, man. Sure, kill everything. I guess I've pretty much got as long as I like, because I don't think Ordwall's going to find the file. Like, if I just killed, like, two of their most strongest characters, they're not going to have the army to kill whatever's guarding the file, most likely. If you see what I mean. If they didn't do it beforehand, they're not going to be very strong to do it now. Well played. So I've not really got to play with that one before, have I? The Armageddon style with black dragons. Oh, hello there, Ashkel. Sounds like a girl's name. Well played. I'm going to go into there. Well, there's another subterranean gate. That probably leads to maybe where you're supposed to go. If I was to guess. Let's go top left now. And just check bottom left with this character. See if there's anything special. It's just bases. So each one of these is going to have a base. Am I wielding Armageddon's blade? Uh, no. But Armageddon Blade, um, yeah, it's amazing, obviously. But if you've got black dragons, they don't get affected by Armageddon either. So it feels good. So one to seven. One to seven. She doesn't have it, does she? Nah, she hasn't got Armageddon's played. Uh, not Armageddon's played. Armageddon. We'll just do this the traditional way. I'll do a quick combat, actually, because I'm quite lazy. I don't think she'll lose too much. I'll do, like, one more meteor and then a quick combat. Alright, easy, Tigers. Most important thing as usual at this point. It's just mage guilds. I'm going to come down here now with that character. Oh no. I haven't got level 5 with this one yet. five of any of them. Thanks. <laughs> oh, 
there goes blue. Which means that I can't lose this level now, doesn't it? Because I think blue was the only opponent. <laughs> so I really do have all the time in the world. So to get the resources, I can just do this. There we go. Level five. Level four, level five, level five, level five. Okay, so you're going to now transfer to each base. Go through the motions. I know I've already done these ones before, but it's just being thorough. Is that enough dragons? If she could have like one black dragon, she'd probably be strong enough. I don't see Dimension Door yet. There's an easy way to know if I've got Dimension Door. That's just to check my spell book. But where's the suspense in that? Ah, oh, implosion. I don't think we're going to have it then. Earth Elemental, yep, that was before. Oh. oh, there's a level 5 to be had here. Get your level 5s, boys. Get your level 5s. Yay, sacrifice. Said no one ever. Right, okay. So you're going to now go to your objective. I think there was only three bases here. So you, Missy, are going to go to each one of the top bases because you have to go the hard way because you don't actually have the town portal that travels everywhere. You can read that if you like in pause. The hell is this? Ah, uh, do I have to dig or something here? It's a trap. Pick up your spells. Move on to the next base over here. Easiest level ever, am I right? Oh, I should have fought them, actually. Everything is experience. What level is she? At? She's level 22. So she didn't, like, get super OP. Because she's got unlimited experience to be had. She could have been like level 30 or something, but she's not really there. Advanced Earth. Closer towards the uh, portal. Not quite what we want. Yeah, movement speed. That's a good one. I think I've already got that though on my main character. 
Can I have two of those? Do they stack? Do they stack? That's pretty sick. Oh, well that looks like that leads to somewhere. But first of all, for the lols. So her movement speed at the moment is 3,500. Are you sure those stacked? 3,500. I don't know they do. I don't think her movement speed improved. If we take this off... Because she's all got, also got boots of speed. It says 3,500. Three thousand two hundred. Three thousand two thousand nine hundred. Two thousand nine hundreds. Yeah, it doesn't change if I put on both the. These don't stack. Take that, backseat gamers. Thinking those stacked. They don't. I don't even know what I just replaced with them. Yeehaw! Oh, I just missed that. Oh well, I'm sure we'll live. So these dragons were trying to make out as though this was going to be a tough fight, weren't they? Let's see how they do versus Armageddon. Or destroy undead. Nah, Armageddon is still going to do way more damage. Destroy undead is a bit weak. That's right. That's what I thought. You could really cheat in a way, but it would be pretty boring to do so. And like I said in previous levels, you don't want to cheat too much because it actually makes it too easy in the later levels. You need to have a balance where it's challenging, but you can also have fun just dominating. But I could just keep, uh, keep skipping turns, like, endlessly, so those dragons build up into ridiculous numbers. There's a lot to kill here, though, so um, she will get powerful. And apparently they have heard about the file. I can't win if I can get... Yeah, but you... There's no blue left to take the file. So I don't think unless there's something that happens in the game... No, I want to kill him for experience. It says, oh, they magically did it. Oh, those fairy dragons. Holy shit, that is the gayest thing I've ever seen. Fairy dragons. That is really camp. Really, really camp. That is like LGBT slash, like the parade, all into one person, into one creature. Ah, what's around here then? That's my OCDs procking up on that. It's going to be nothing, isn't it? Ah, oh. spirits of legendary knights guard this town. All sorts of different dragons. It's a dragon fest in here, isn't it?
Look how easy I'm defeating these dragons. How skilled. Am I the reason why dragons go extinct? Offensive spellcaster, I'd say. It looks pretty offensive to me. They got 500 health. Holy shit. 20 to 30 damage is a little on the lackluster side, but the 500 health means they'd be like one of the best units in the game. How have they got so much health? They look like they would fall over with a slight breeze. Yeah, 500 health means that you could just go around casting Armageddon all day and not lose a unit. Well, actually, you'd lose the Fairy Dragons. But you know what I mean, like Chain Lightning and all those other spells. Sphere of Permanence. What's that do for me? I mean to dispel magic. Awesome, thanks. What a strange deal, though. What is going on here? Spits acid. I wonder if these ones have caused me the most trouble. There's not even that many of them. 750 health. Yeah, these aren't real. I suppose we won't be able to get these in the normal levels. There's no level where you can do this. Because the quest guard is like... You need to kill everyone in this area. So all these creatures just exist in this area to be killed one day by some hero. Seems a bit cruel, doesn't it? 800 health, 60 to 75. They look like they can't fly. Crystal dragons. Isometric dragons. Crystal restoration. Let's see what they do. Yeah, they're like Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Or Philosoraptors. Where's your crystal regeneration now? They move quite cute as well. Okay. Oh, I thought there'd be another set of dragons or something to fight before I take the experience. Level 28. Okay, she's looking pretty good. The cabins here seem to have grown around an ancient ornate box. Do you wish to open the box? <gasps> should have known better. You are attacked. Oh, how much experience would I get for these? But if I beat this, does the level end? We'll have to wait and see. Do an Armageddon and then a quick combat. Let's see. 
Yeah, the level ends anyway, so it was worth taking the Tree of Life first. Congratulations, you have found the file of Dragon Blood. You can claim a victory. Muter has found treasure. All dragons under your command receive plus five to their attack and plus five to defense. I guess it's good. I mean, it is good, but it's not as impressive as I was thinking it would be. It's not like plus five to all stats and stuff. All that effort. All those dragons. But I suppose, you know, it's going to stack quite nice with a speciality, which is basically the same thing. All right, GG.